Asher. Hey, Wahida. How's it going? Good, thanks. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, listen. Yeah? While we're waiting for this bus to come, I'm thinking. Okay. I ask you some more questions. Cool, I'm down. Okay, so you know about water baptism, right? Mm hmm. All right. Do you have to be baptized to go to heaven? Sure. That's a good question. <laughs> no, you don't. Remember last week we talked about how when you get saved, you just need to believe in Jesus, that He's Lord, desire a relationship with Him, and confess with your mouth. And so you don't have to get baptized in order to get saved. In fact, remember the thief that got crucified next to Jesus. There was a man on the cross next to Jesus and he had done some really bad stuff. And in his last moments, he called out to Jesus and said, remember me in paradise. And Jesus said to him, today you will be with me in paradise. So that guy didn't have time to get baptized in water, obviously. And all he did, if you look at it, was really simple. He recognized who Jesus was. He desired relationship with Him. He confessed it with His mouth. And in fact, he was kind of repentant of, of his life. And so that's all we need to do to be saved. But I just want to say, <laughs> baptism is important to Jesus still. And He instructs us to get baptized in water. So even though we don't need to get baptized in order to be saved, if we're not prepared to get baptized in water, it kind of shows something in our heart, a little something in our heart. Because if you care about someone and there's something that's really important to them and it's not that difficult to you and it's not going to harm you and it's something simple to do and you're not prepared to do it, it kind of shows how much you really care about them don't you think yeah actually that makes a lot of sense now that you put it that way okay so if we don't need to be baptized to get to heaven um why do people need to be baptized then okay um well firstly as i said you know jesus instructs us to get baptized you can go and read it in the great commission and acts 2 it, it so christians get baptized in water in obedience to Jesus because they love Him. And the reason why Jesus instructs us to get baptized is because it's a public declaration to your community, to um, your friends, your family, that you have chosen to belong to Jesus, that you have chosen to follow Him. Um, it's also a picture. You know, um, God knows we need pictures. We all need visual reminders. And even, look, are you wearing a wedding ring? Yes, does that wedding ring make you married? No. If you take it off, are you suddenly now unmarried? No. Of course not. So you wear that ring as a picture, though, to everyone around you and even to yourself as a reminder that you are in covenant with Musa. But it doesn't make you more married. No. No. So another picture is communion. We take we drink grape juice and we eat crackers in church as a symbol. Are they really Jesus' body and blood? No. No. But they remind us of the sacrifice that Jesus did. And so God knows that we need visual reminders. Um, and so baptism is a picture and a symbol. Okay. Uh, it's a picture and a symbol, but what is it a picture of? Yeah, okay, thank you. Um, baptism symbolizes uh, what our old self dying and our new self being raised to life. If that sounds complicated, basically, when you came to know Jesus, your old self, sinful self, died. And God put His Spirit inside of you. And so our soul still might be a bit messy and we need to figure things out and live out our salvation, but the real us inside of us is His Spirit inside of us. And so baptism is the picture when you go down of the old self dying and being buried and then the new self being raised to life. So Romans 6 verse 4 kind of explains that. It says, let's see if I can say it. Um, we were buried therefore with him by baptism into death 
in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life. Or actually Colossians 2 verse 12 as well. Having been buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the powerful working of God. So, yeah, that's what it's a picture of. Okay, thanks for that. Um, I think my next question is, when should a person be baptized? Really, the only condition for getting baptized in water is that you have a relationship with Jesus. In Acts 2 verse 38, it says, repent and be baptized in Jesus' name. So, yeah. Okay. Wahida. What's that up, us? Oh, it sure was. I, I promise you I was looking. I was looking. I told you. Oh, what you trying to get it? What are you talking about? Oh. oh. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we stopped. We gave up really soon. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. okay. We'll just wait for the other one. That's fine with me because I have more questions. Okay. Bring okay. it on. Okay. So my next question is, if a person makes a mistake, like they fall back into sin... Uh, do they need to be baptized again? Lots of people wonder that and no, you don't need to get baptized again because remember we talked about the waters don't actually cleanse you and it's just a picture of what happens when you give your life to Jesus. And just like when you get saved, you don't, you're going to make a mistake, but you're still a son and daughter in the kingdom of God. It doesn't mean that you now have lost your salvation and have to give your life back to Jesus. The same with getting baptized in water. It's just a picture. And so every time you make a mistake, you don't have to get rebaptized. I mean, when you make a mistake, maybe you lose your temper with Musa. Do you have to take off your wedding ring and do your wedding vows again? No, you just apologize. <laughs> and the same with water baptism and salvation. Yeah. Okay, so what about baby baptism? Okay, so baby baptism, I think probably came from people being scared that if someone wasn't baptized in water, that, they'd prob that they weren't going to go to heaven. But as we've discussed, you don't need to get baptized in water to go to heaven. And so babies, if they actually do unfortunately die, they go straight to heaven. They haven't had an, a chance to sin or to reject Jesus or to accept Him. And so because baptism is for people who have given their lives to Jesus, baptism isn't intended for babies because, I mean, babies can't even spell the word repent, <laughs> can they? So, yeah, no. Okay, so what if a person was baptized as a baby? Well, it's not a bad thing to get baptized as a baby, but in our church what we would do is dedication. So dedicate a baby to Jesus. And that's just where we have, we pray over the baby and the parents dedicate the baby in their prayers to to the Lord. And and so if someone has been baptized as a baby, it's actually just their parents saying, you know, we want this child to be raised up to know the Lord and have the opportunity to know the Lord, which is a really special thing. Um, it's just not enough. Um, it's, a, it's very nice that it happened, but that child needs to get to a point when, when they make the decision for themselves, I'm going to follow Jesus, and then they get baptized as, a, as following that decision. Yeah, okay. So I've seen in some places where water is sprinkled on someone, is that also baptism? Well, if you look at the word baptism in the New Testament, it's the Greek word baptizo. Baptizo. It's a cool word. <laughs> I hey. like it. I like it. Okay. It means to immerse or to plunge or to bathe, to dip under. The word itself refers to like make fully wet. Mm -hmm. And as we talked in Romans 6 verse 4, um, Baptism is a picture of the burial and the resurrection, right? Um, so if you sprinkle someone, it's not really the burial and the resurrection. It doesn't really give that picture. Okay. All right, so this was really helpful once again. So, yeah, thanks. And I think our bus is actually... Yeah, that is it. That is it. it. <laughs> All right.